What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a review. Uh, I'm going to say review, demo, sort of thing on the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, I was going to just do like a makeup look and then just apply the foundation and just regular. But I want to do a real full-on review on this foundation. What is What are you going to see on this review? Um, we are going to apply it. I'm going to tell you how it applies. I'm going to tell you how it feels on my skin. I'm going to tell you if it's medium, if it's full coverage, if it's medium to full coverage, if it's buildable. Um, and also, I have to do some errands and I'll be out the rest of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply from right now and take the time. And then I will come back when I'm done doing all my errands and I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to let you know how it felt on my face and pretty much the end result of the day. Which that is pretty much how I put a foundation to the test. If it can stand Florida weather and it can stand the whole entire day of being on my face. It does say it's a 24 hour foundation right here if you read it. It does say it's a 24 hour foundation. So it should pretty much when I come back home it should pretty much be intact. It should pretty much be not... I shouldn't have any problems with it when it comes to like if melting off or anything like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply the foundation. Um, I am going to tell you a little bit about the foundation as I'm applying it. But then you will get a second part of this video in this same video. <laughs> First off, the packaging is the same as the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. The only thing, this is like a more glossy um, packaging. The other one, it was more like a rigid matte um packaging so this is uh you see it says it has like the bluish all over it kind of makes me feel like this is a foundation that i can wear to go to the pool or i can wear to go to the beach it's just pretty much just because of the blue makes me feel it's waterproof so in the back it says it's a long lasting glow foundation never dull never greasy uh it's a the finish it says is radiant the wear up to 24 hours coverage it says it's a medium coverage foundation Texture is a air light foundation, air light texture. It says that this is radiant finish for normal to dry skin. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't have oily skin, so I cannot give you a full-on review and tell. Hey, if you have oily skin, go ahead and wear it. You're not gonna get oily. You're not gonna get greasy. It does say that it's for normal to dry skin. So I'm really, really excited. I'm sorry for those of you who have oily skin, but I'm really excited for me because I have dry skin and I wanna step out of my comfort zone with the mattes and I wanna do glow. So let's just stop with dawdling and let's go ahead and get started. I'm still going to apply a moisturizer. I don't think um, if you have oily skin, this will pretty much make a difference as to it'll make your skin more on the greasy side I think everybody should wear a moisturizer before your foundation like hands down that's like the best thing you can do so I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever step one primer with this so we're gonna open and I'm hoping that I got the right shade because the thing with this is you cannot go and just pretty much test it out. That's the bad thing about drugstore foundation. So you pretty much got to go OD and pick all of them and see which one is your color. But I think I think I I think I hit the nail. I think I don't know. This color is 205, which is natural beige. I am very pale, but I tan. So that's why I grabbed it a little bit more on the darker side. So I'm just going to place some dots on my face it smells like makeup it's a little watery for my taste it's not as dense it's not as thick as most of the foundations that I wear so like I said for me it's a little bit on the watery side I mean I'm guessing it's because of that because of the you know it has to be dewy finish so I'm just going to dab feels good actually it doesn't feel bit, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin whatsoever like some foundations that I use that you can feel the heaviness of the foundation 
I mean, you can leave it like this. It's not a bad coverage, but I'm going to apply a second coat on it just because I am the type of person that I like to be very, very heavy on, especially when Florida. Um, color wise, I think it pretty much matched me pretty well. I don't think it's that bad. Again, the color that I took is a 205, which is a natural beige. I'm not going to set it with powder because uh, that's the reason you want like glowy, dewy skin. But I'm going to move on to my makeup and I'm just going to go ahead and finish my face. I'm not going to do any baking on my face because I want to keep that glowy um, finish. And I'm going to try to not use a lot of powder um, highlight because we're going to keep this look fresh and dewy. So let me just finish on to my face. makeup look that I'm going to go for today I'm going to go outside as you can see I didn't I didn't bake my face I did set it my concealer with a little bit of a loose powder but I maintained myself very close to my under eyes I didn't want to touch any of the areas as of right now everything settled very well onto my skin everything blended very well to my skin um, I'm sorry that I'm talking to you guys but I'm looking at myself in the mirror because I'm trying to catch everything and I want to be able to tell you um, exactly how I feel about everything um, I think everything looks good in its place. I think everything looks really good. I feel as my skin looks a little, I feel as my skin looks more healthier than um, when I wear just regular foundation and see how well it fits my, my skin, if, see how well it sits, see how well it all stays in place together. So yeah, um, let me check back in a couple of hours. I'm gonna go get dressed and I'm gonna go head out and do my errands and I will definitely be back to letting you guys know the second part of how I feel about this foundation. 
Okay, so it's officially five o'clock. It's five ish. Okay, so I've had the foundation on for the full, whole entire day. Um, I think it's been more than an eight hours that I've had this foundation. Um, overall on the foundation, I have to say the makeup is still in place. It has not melted off my face. It has not, um, I don't have any dry patches. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Again, it says that it's for a, um, for dry, normal to dry skin. So I cannot tell you if you're oily and it would have gotten oily on your T-zone. Um, I don't, I don't see like an extra glow on the foundation. Like, like a lot of glow. Like, yeah, it's like a very dewy foundation and, um, you will probably get oily. This area right here, I did set it with powder and everything and it looks just normal as it would any other foundation. I do see a difference. My, my, my skin looks a little bit more healthier. Um, it looks a little more on the dewy side areas where I didn't set with powder. Um, everything else is, of course, highlight. So it's like you would say kind of... I do see a difference between this one and the Pro Matte foundation from them. I think that if you have dry skin, this foundation is going to be amazing for you guys for summer. Um, if you have oily skin, again, I think you just do a little combination of the Pro Mats and just wear it on, your, on the T-zone, especially where you get oily. And I think you're going to have an amazing, com amazing combination of foundation, I would say. I have to say, I like it. As of right now... It's been more than eight hours. I think it's been yeah, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's been more like 10 hours that I have the foundation on. And I love the results. So this is a, probably a foundation that you can wear for a very long time. Um, I haven't broken out, so I'm excited about that. Um, usually I wear the foundation and um, if I'm creating some sort of allergic reaction or I'm about to break out, I will definitely see it right away. So my overall opinion on this foundation, I love it. My face skin looks healthy. I love the dewy glowy finish that it leaves. I love the fact that it has lasted for more than eight hours. It does say it's 24, but it has lasted for a very long time, especially um, holding this Florida weather, which is insanely hot. I really have nothing bad to say about the foundation. I think you should give it a try. If you find it on your local Walmart, I think it's just, it runs for $10.97 at Walmart to be exact. I think you definitely should give this foundation a try, especially now for summer. If you're into that whole dewy finish and if you are dry skin, hello baby. <laughs> so I hope you liked this review. I haven't done a review of this in my channel in a very long time. So please excuse me if it's not what you were looking for. I'm trying to get back in the bandwagon of reviewing products for you guys but if you guys did find it helpful and you guys did like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel right there and um yeah that is all that i want to share with you guys thank you so much for sticking till the end so let's be blessed precious pearls i will see you ladies on my next video bye